Hi everyone, I'm Apollonia Ponti, your dating and relationship coach, founder of ApolloniaPuonti.com, and welcome to today's video. I'm your coach for you men to go confidently in the direction of your love lives and attract that woman and master your attraction skills in your dating lives or in your relationships. Now, today's video is going to be talked about online dating scams. All right, so you know that I'm a huge advocate, huge, huge, huge advocate for online dating. I even have a product surrounding um, online dating results for men. Or, um, and this is something I've taken the time to incorporate into a product because of the fact that I've had so many clients find love online and also boost their attraction skills online if it's somebody like new to dating. But online dating scams happen often. And unfortunately, this is something that I talk about in my online dating results for men uh, product, but I want to make a video about this because I was looking on YouTube and I just didn't find a video that really goes into depth about how to spot an online scammer and what sites are really popular for online scams and things like that. So because my intentions are true, I do want you to find love, but I also want you to be careful. So I'm going to give you some tips on clarity on online dating scams and also give you some tips on what to look for when you start engaging in these, uh, in these activities with these people or conversations with these people online. So some sites that I've noticed that have a lot of scam scammers on there are POF, POF which is plenty of fish. Um, a lot of the older, older ones do, um, not um, Bumble I'm sure has some every once in a while, but Bumble's where the woman has to initiate, um, and Tinder has a little bit more too. Um, but it's more prone on the older ones like match.com or eHarmony, things like that, where it takes a lot of time for you to fill out a profile or they're the older ones, typically because of the fact that they go over after, let's just say older people, um, between forties and, uh, I mean, excuse me, between in 50s and up typically that's the age range that they look for for scammers um, and it's probably because either you're widowed or you've been um, single for a while and um, also let's be honest they do go after sometimes the elderly but it can be at any age and I that's why I really want to be clear about this so I'm going to give you some tips on how to spot them and I want you to keep this in mind so the next time that you do online dating you will know now number one is they typically will send you an email ask for your email address and start communicating with you through email and thriving and they'll they'll try to boost this emotional connection with you they'll talk about your family you know your parents your um maybe a sore spot like if you just lost your mother they'll talk about that and they'll have a similarity like you know i lost my mother too and this and this in the same way or things like that because they try to share a similarity to kind of capture your heart or capture your intentions as far as that soft spot right so they try to trigger that soft spot and they'll continue to send you emails and then send you phone call I mean call you and build that a connection with you and say you know I've never felt like this with anybody or things like that but here's the thing is tip number two is they can say that they don't live here and they live somewhere else but most of the time they'll say that they live where you are in your location but they're away for business right now or they're away because a family member just passed away or they're away for plenty of other reasons so if this happens to you and they're away it could be a real case where they're just really away, but this is where you have to take your time. If they're getting too heavy and hot and heated and they're like, I'm falling in love with you and you haven't even met this person yet, then this is a good way to spot out that this is a scammer. And typically how they start is tip number three is they will start asking for gift cards. And they are really great at these particular situations it's like they're even trained and what they'll do is they start to ask for gift cards but in different ways like hey i can't call you because of you know there's something's happening over here in this country will you send me a gift card so i can just pay this bill so i can at least keep up and call you they're not accepting anything else but us cash or whatever the case may be or my daughter needs you and i can't she's in the us will you just send her something i can't get over i can't get her to um i can't get her money because of so-and-so that's happening here in this country. So this is how it starts because 
they make an impact on you and build that relationship with you and feel like you're part of their family and vice versa and part of their lives that then they lead on you for support. And in your mind, you're thinking, all right, so as a relationship, I need to support. But at the end of the day, there's no relationship unless you meet that person face to face and you continue to go on dates with this person and you continue to find out more and more about this person and they're open to you and you get that feeling. Now, I don't want this video to steer you away from online dating. I don't, I want you, I wanted to actually encourage you to, for online dating. And the reason why I say this is because I'm giving you the signals in this video. So if you watch it, you'll know, and you'll know your clear intentions as long as you stay where long with these tips. Next tip, tip number four is, then they will ask for a lump amount of funds, meaning typically if they say that they're in the military, it's for them to come home or for them to finally be with you or because of an investment that they have to do that they were over there doing. They have really good strategies when it comes to this. So they're going to ask for the money. So point here in this whole video is never give anybody money when it comes to online dating even if you've met them face to face just don't do it majority of the time you won't um, you'll see that online dating is actually such a online dating scams are such a huge huge thing in the fbi lately right now actually online dating alone people have suffered over two million dollars in losses in 2017 that has been reported to the fbi this is just stuff that has been reported to the fbi so that's why it's really important that i do this video because even though i'm a pro advocate for online dating there's been so much love found on online dating i also want to keep it real with you guys and let you know that this happens and this is something that is getting and is rising and it's it's really important that as dating coaches and as relationship coaches, we get clear on not only what is encouraging and what, how love can be found, but also the damages that can be done if you, if we don't communicate the right intentions or what is really out there and what is going on. So that's why it's really important that I did this video for you. So. I know this is a hot topic and be sensitive with those comments below to other people, but if you have any questions about online dating scams or if you are a victim of an online dating scam, I'm going to put some links that below to, for you to follow um, so you can have more clarity on what to do when this has happened to you and hopefully you found this video before you were scammed online. Um, and remember, don't ever give anybody money and if this did happen to you, Remember too that you deserve love. I know you're going to go through a bunch of emotions and why did I do this? Why did I do that? But understand that these people are really good sometimes at what they do and you do deserve love at the end of the day. As always, I'll see you again in the next video. If this is your first time visiting, please take the t time to describe, subscribe to this channel and I'll see you again in the next video. Remember you are always loved. Bye for now.